it is good to be here with you, even though at any minute now we've got some pretty nasty storms looming on the horizon. Yes, we have. So as my grandmother used to say, batten down the hatches and make yourself comfortable. So let us make ourselves comfortable. Let us come into the presence of divine love. Let us come with an open heart, willing to hear the voice of the beloved God speak to us. We may not like what we hear, it may challenge us, but it's all for the highest good of those who trust, who trust in the Supreme. But before we begin, can we light a candle for peace? A special time of peace. Just bear with me a moment while I just find a lighter. And if you have a candle handy, it would be good to light your candle and together we shall share the light of our love of God of Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh. Let us come into the presence of love. Let us be still in the silence of that love. And now I'm going to read a Celtic benediction that resonates with my Celtic Franciscan spirituality. And for that, I need my glasses. Deep peace, pure white of the moon to you. Deep peace, pure green of the grass to you. Deep peace, pure brown of the earth to you. Deep peace, pure gray of the dew to you. Deep peace, pure blue of the sky to you deep peace of the running wave to you, deep peace of the flowing air to you, deep peace of the quiet earth to you, deep peace of the shining stars to you, deep peace of the sun of peace to you. And as we relax here, let us take heart and let us be assured that whatever may be happening in our life at this moment, if it's causing us disquiet or sadness, then let us name it, let us bless it, and let us release it to the beloved God. Be still now. Be still in the presence of all that is and know that you are loved. Just relax and allow yourself breathe in the gift that Gaia shares with us, the gift of sacred air. Let our in-breath become infused by the love of creation. And in our out-breath, let us release a blessing to Gaia, our Mother Earth. And be aware of your feet, your blessed feet. Allow them to connect with Gaia, Mother Earth. Be aware of the love she has for those who respect the landscape, the cathedral of God. So we come into the presence of that God and we take heart. We take heart against the many challenges 
that you and I have to face each day, that we are not alone on this journey. Yes, we are a pilgrim, but we are not alone. We are surrounded by messengers of love, by messengers who care about our spiritual wellness and wholeness. And here I want to share with you a beautiful song by Michael Talbot, I Found My Beloved. I found my beloved through a breakdown, a mental health breakdown, a severe one, where it took me four years. Yes, but I thank God for the good he brought from that. Because I found my beloved. I found my God. And though I had to learn to walk, to trust, that was my breakthrough in the work I'm doing today. So I share this with you and I share my beloved with you.
such a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. The words are so poignant. I have found my beloved in the secret chamber. Well, let us read a section from John O'Donoghue, his amazing book, one of many, and it's about to bless the space between us. And tonight, I just want to, to just be guided by my heart. To be guided by the voice of spirit and just listen to the heart because you know the heart is our teacher I keep saying it and it's true because the moment we surrender our heart to the beloved the moment we're given the gift of being able to discern what is God saying to us. The state of one's heart inevitably shapes one's life. It is ultimately the place where everything is decided. How true. A courageous heart will go forth and engage with life despite confusion and fear. A fearful heart will be hesitant and will tend to hold back. A heavy heart will make for a gloomy, unlived life. And trust me, I've seen so many gloomy souls aimlessly searching for what they already have. A compassionate heart need never carry the burden of judgment. A forgiving heart knows the art of liberation. A loving heart awakens the spirit of possibility and engagement with others. The power of the heart's attitude is expressed beautifully in the Christian's book, the New Testament. Where your treasure is, there is your heart also. And all through the Old Testament Bible, God is interested only in the heart. Not sacrifices, rituals or rules, only the heart. Indeed, the mystical tradition would suggest the heart is beautiful precisely because it is where God dwells. The heart is your divine sanctuary, that special place where we meet God. It is the secret chamber. And it is a gift freely given to those who ask. Let us spend whatever time we have at this table of love. Let us ask Mother Earth in the presence of all the great spiritual teachers to explain to us the importance of being more heart-centered. Whilst academia is important and a brilliant mind is a gift from God too, but so often too much knowledge can actually be a block. And that's why I have a great love for Gandhi. Though he was an intelligent, articulate man, he was a wise man. He spoke little, but when he did, he spoke with such power and authority. Like Rumi, 
Osho, Mia Baba, even the Prophet Abraham and Muhammad, and Francis of Assisi, like Jesus the Barefoot Galilean, their words were always inspired by love. Love coming from a compassionate heart, a heart devoid of ego or an agenda to control the mind of the children of God. So let us relax now. Let us just be still in our sacred sanctuary. And as we relax, I would like you to just visualize a place that resonates with your heart where you do feel safe. It may be in your back garden or yard. It may be in your living room, in your bedroom, or it may be in some field or by the beach or by a waterfall. Find that place now. Go there. Go there. And now let us relax there. Let us allow our senses greet the dawn. Let our senses embrace the gift of creation freely given. And let us be aware that we are in the cathedral of God. The cathedral of nature where God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah is present. For everything created by God is a gift from God. And even the blade of grass <coughs> is given the life of God. The animal kingdom are a gift from God. And as we relax, we now invite the Supreme Father Mother God to come to us. For many, this can be a challenge, particularly if they had parents who abused them. So let us ask for courage, for strength, And before us, we are aware that there is a being of light sat right in front of us. And that being of light becomes two persons in one. It is the cosmic Christ with the divine feminine. Magdalena and they share with you that they have come as a representative of the Father Mother God and they come to take you by the hand and walk a short distance And on either side of you, you have Magdalena and the Cosmic Christ. And you are aware of their love by the energy that's flowing into your being. You have become light-footed, but there's an inner strength that's holding you. And all around you, is peace and love. And Brother Sun is shining his rays of healing light upon you. 
and you come to a beautiful, very old oak tree. And there you sit and you just relax. And Magdalena holds you in her arms just like a mother would. And she gently strokes your hair. And this has a profound healing effect on your mind, releasing memories that may be painful for you. And the Christ, he is there with you also. And you are aware of his love for you. For he takes you by the hand And you immediately feel the love of God flow through your hands, allowing you to relax fully in your mind, your body and spirit. And he allows you to see your eternal home, the home where you came from, before you incarnated in this body. And there is beauty. There is no night or day. Everything is as it should be. Pure beauty. And you can hear great singing and rejoicing. There is happiness. And the light that's flowing from the Holy of Holies, from the Temple of the Most High, is so bright that it immediately touches you and gives you the umph to receive, replenish and restore your reserves. And as you lay in the arms of Magdalena, you embrace your feminine side, that soft side that maybe you've denied yourself. And the Christ allows you embrace your masculine self, the divine masculine. And now the two energies are brought together to you as one beautiful energy that's restoring you to wellness and wholeness. And in the stillness, you become aware. that you are loved. Truly, truly loved. And that your life experiences though painful for some have become a great teacher for others. <laughs> And as you rest in the arms of the Christ Magdalena, you are aware in your heart that love is present, that you are divine, that you are truly a child of God and you are here for a purpose and that your life matters to God and whatever you ask for in the name of love 
it will be respected and given to you. And suddenly you wake up and the Christ and Magdalena are not there. They have returned, but you are totally relaxed. But something has happened that within your very being you are carrying their love for you the hero scammers, the mystical marriage of divine masculine and divine feminine energy. They have left an imprint on your heart to allow you now see what God sees, to hear what God hears, to feel what God feels. Within your heart, you have received a precious gift, the gift of balance, harmony, that has now allowed you make this divine connection, and you now accept that the heart is the divine, your teacher, the gateway to your soul, the gateway to your God. And as you take a deep breath, you are affirming yourself that as a child of the light, all your needs are met and suddenly you hear an inner voice speak to you in the silence come my beloved come receive the keys of the kingdom of God for they are your gift from our heart Come and receive. Well done, good and faithful servant. Because you have been faithful in little things, we will place you in charge of bigger things. Hold firm. Do not allow your heart to be deceived. 